Oh. Hi all. So welcome back to this channel. And in this video session, I'll be discussing uh, writing reading data to a IFS stream file in RPG LES 400. So in this uh, video, uh, in a single program, I'll be writing the data to the IFS and then uh, reading the data from the IFS file. So I already discussed separate videos on the opening, writing, and uh, reading or closing uh, IFS file, which I'll be showing you. So you can see uh, I already have the videos on open, write, read, and close API. So let's uh, integrate. Uh, these in a single program and write or read data from an IFS file in RPG LES for them. So uh, let me uh, create one. So let's have this read. Read write. Okay. Writing and reading data from IFS stream file so what I'm going to do uh, is I'm having an open API so this is the uh, prototype for uh, the open that is IFS part uh, the mode in which I want to open the uh, file uh, so that those flags this is the uh, authorities flags when I'm going to create a file and this is the uh, code base is ID these two are optional uh, in which so this will basically uh, tell that in which CCS ID I'm going to create this file these are the open flags which I'm going to pass uh, in the O flag parameter and these will be authorities which will be passed in the mode parameter uh, this is the IFS path uh, variable uh, O flag variable, mode variable, code page variable, and this is the file descriptor which is going to be written from open API. So first thing is writing the data. So before writing the data, I must uh, say I must create a file. Let's say I'm creating a file open file 3. If I do work link, I'll see there is no open file 3 existed. So first time I'm going to create this file and I'm, I'll be passing uh, And I'll be passing the flags right only and create if not exist. So it this flag will create the file if it is not exist and it will open that file in the write only mode. And then I am passing all these authorities to the owner. So let's add this. So here I'm going to pass this to the open API, IFS path, open flag, this one, and the mode. So these are the authorities which I'll be providing. I'm not going to have uh, the CCS ID here. So we'll be discussing in some other videos, a little video. So if file is not open, the file descriptor returned is less than zero. So we'll be we will also be returning from the program here, and if it's uh, uh, open successfully, then we need to read the uh, we need to write the data to the stream file. So we must have this API prototype here in our program. So this is the right API prototype you can see so what i'm uh, having here is the file descriptor which i have uh, returned from the open api and the uh, buffer uh, value or which i'm going to write and it's the number of bytes which i want to write so 
so after this I am going to uh, call this so we must have some parameters here so let's say so let's say I am declaring these two uh, variables uh, which will be used in the uh, write API call so what I'm going to do is evaluating some data and then calling this write API so you can see once this open API is called the file is open the file descriptor is allocated to the uh, file and then we'll pass that file descriptor to this API which means that this API is this file is open for write only mode and we will be passing the address of the data where uh, uh, we basically going to write the uh, data so we are, we are basically having the data here and we are going to write the data onto the IFL stream file from this address so then uh, the size of the data which we want to write is uh, uh, the size of this variable here uh, if I want I can have percentage trim here so that we can write less than uh, 500 data uh, which we have declared here so you can see first call is for open and then uh, for when the file is open then we need to uh, write the uh, records to the IFS stream file and we'll be calling write uh, return underscore write as well as you can see this variable is already declared it will return me the uh, number of bytes which uh, which were returned actual actually returned if it's less than the percentile size of the IFS data which we want to write then there is some error it means not uh, the full data is not get written and there's some error in writing the IFS writing at the IFS file so it'll be uh, displaying some error or we can return from here to if you want now uh, we are able let's suppose if it's successfully executed we are able to write the data to the IFS so so first thing is complete writing the data to the IFS now once the data is returned to the IFS we need to close this file so that we can again open this in the read only mode because for now uh, you can see I only open this in write only mode after creating this using the open API so we need to close this file otherwise we are not able to uh, once, once we open the file again we will be getting some other file descriptor which will uh, uh, then may, um, may clash so but but that will work here that not cause any issue much issue but uh, we should avoid that so we need the close API prototype as well here So in close API we will be passing the file descriptor and we will be getting the uh, integer value which tells whether the file is closed successfully or not if it's minus one then there is some error if it's zero then the file is closed. So uh, then we will passing this uh, file descriptor which is returned from the open API to the close uh, API and we will getting some return underscore close parameter so we need to define that as well here if let's say we must have this if return underscore close is less than zero or let's say if it's equals to minus one then it's an error so must return from the program now what we need to do we need to uh, uh, perform the same thing we need to open it again so we have this uh, ifs path already so we don't need to uh, 
have the IFS path again so we must copy all these things and just copy it again copy paste so we again are going to open this in read only mode uh, you can uh, refer from these flags so we will be using this constant value read only flag so now uh, I'm going to open the same file uh, with read only mode and this time I don't need this uh, create file constant so because the file is already uh, created successfully so flag is this mode is not required this time and we need to have only these two mandatory parameter this is not required as well so we have opened the file here and then we must uh, clear it up so that we must not have any data here now we don't need to uh, perform the write so we need to perform the read operation so we need this read api prototype here so read will basically uh, read the data from the stream file uh, we'll pass the file descriptor the buffer pointer and the number of bytes to be read so it will uh, return me what number of bytes it has read from the stream file So this is going to be uh, return underscore read so let's remove this I'm not going to return anything so this time uh, you can see I'm going to uh, uh, read some data from the IFS stream file so I'll be passing the descriptor uh, for the file which is being opened uh, uh, that's a stream uh, IFS file I'm passing the address of the IFS data and the size of the data uh, which we want to read and it will return the actual size size which we got from the while reading the data from the IFS and if it's read return underscore read is less than one which means there is no further data so it means end of file condition reach return uh, not return from here because uh, we need to close that file as well so again we will passing the file descriptor here and then we will be closing that file so this is the whole programming I will be showing you so we need a read API, prototype, close API, write and open. So all these things are required here and uh, uh, what we are doing, we are having the flags for the open. So you can uh, have the uh, detailed idea about all these things by uh, watching uh, this video. You will get every information about why I am using these flags here in my code. So that will uh, help you to understand these things and here you can see i am um, uh, first opening the file using open api then writing the data using write api and closing the file again opening the file using open and then reading the file and then closing the file so this way i am going to perform writing and reading data from to a IFS stream file in RPG US 400. So let's save this. It's already saved. Let's compile this. Some error. So we need to look at that. Work job. Portion to 6. Um, so we need to look at this error the name or indicator is not defined return underscore so this line return underscore read is not defined so we need to define that as well
so the size would be same and this is going to be a read one now again just compile this so this program is compiled successfully uh, now let's uh, debug this api underscore read write just set the big point at line number one and then call api underscore read write so let me show you we don't have that file walk link if open file 3 so now uh, we are going to uh, this is the ifs path open file 3 is the file which is going to be created so we are passing open flag as this by summing these two okay this is a constant so we can see the value of this uh, we can see the value from here that is the uh, write only plus uh, read only that is 8 plus 2 10 so you can see uh, this variable is holding 10 so we are passing 10 decimal which is going to be a binary value in actual and we are passing uh, mode as these authorities to the owner so all the authorities to the owner have been provided and this is going to be passed to this open api this will create the file and then open the file so a file descriptor is assigned that is a one this time and if we check at the walk link so you can see file open file 3 is created successfully so we have the authority that's why we are open able to open this file if file descriptor is less than zero it's not zero now we have some data we are going to write some data here and we will be passing that descriptor here and uh, address of that data and size which we want to write and return write we would return that how many bytes being written to the IFS team file so it it writes 500 uh, uh, bytes which is uh, same as the size which we are going to which we were going to write so that's again uh, correct so all the data has been returned to the IFS so we don't return from the here program here and we will see you can see that's written to the IFS file now let's close this file so we pass the uh, descriptor so it will close the file so it's zero it means it is closed successfully and again we are going to open the file in read only mode so this file is opened our file descriptor of one is supplied or allocated to this file and then uh, ifs data is blank so we are going to read the fi uh, file and extract the uh, uh, bytes from the stream file on the IFS so you can see I'm going to have this data here from the IFS file right now and we read 500 bytes from the uh, IFS file so th these are the number of bytes which we provided which is 500 so we read those number of bytes so if it is less than one it means end of file there's no end of file condition here that could be arises in the uh, uh, either in empty file or uh, maybe in in case if all the data has been uh, read from the file now again we pass the file descriptor and it will close the file just do ndbg so this way uh, you got the concept that how we will be writing or reading data to fs steam file in rpg lees in a in a same program so we integrated everything here so that's all in this video thank you